How you doing folks? Let's see if this game can pull me right in, make me want to actually play it to the end, make me want to add it to my backlog. So, um, Forgotten Worlds, never heard of it, don't know what it is, I'm kind of freaked out right now by all this movement I'm seeing on screen, I don't know what kind of game it is, I don't know what it plays like, nothing. Uh, never heard of it, like I said, so... Um, so far, the art style's not crazy bad. I like it. You know, there's some personality there. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling I'm feeling what I'm seeing so far. Um, I guess I'm, it's a shooter. Okay. Some type of space shooter. Um, I don't know how to aim down. Okay. You got to use that to aim around. Okay. I see what's going on here. Now that's not a bad, necessarily a bad thing. That's not necessarily a bad control scheme. I, I, it, it is rough, and they kicked me all the way to the title screen, so they're not playing. Like they're they're not playing. It's not the best control scheme. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend, um, but I could see where they're going with it. I can see where they're going with it. You know? I can see where they're going with it. Um, it's really crazy. Like, I don't know what's going on or why. And that's partly because I just rushed through the dialogue, but whatever. Um, some of these enemies are just not dying. I don't know if I'm completely missing them or what. It takes a lot of getting used to uh, with these controls. A lot. Um, so I gotta keep that in mind when I say that it's, it's a little bit tight. Um, it's very punishing, as you can see. I'm not really sure what my life bar is looking like. Um, Instead of a spaceship, you are just a guy floating, uh, which is kind of weird, I guess. Um, <laughs> but they play it off because you're in the space or something. I don't know. And they, they, yo, they're punishing you. Like you get it right or you get gone. So, Forgotten Worlds, bro. I've never heard of this. Don't worry, we'll finish him today. Now it looks like it's a two-player game. So again. Uh, keep that in mind because, you know, two-player games are a lot more fun when you are playing with two players. Like, it's, it's a whole different ball game um, when you got a buddy you're communicating with and y'all are tackling these things together. Um, I played a, a few back in the day with a buddy and it, it, it does feel a lot different. It, it really does. And these things are not dying. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm getting there. And obviously this would be a lot better with coin sticks. Um, instead of buttons. A lot better. <laughs> um, I wonder, I'm curious to see what this game was rated when it came out because I can't see it being rated very high although the story could push you to want to play to want to finish you know um, depending on how crazy the story gets and it you know just judging off of what I'm seeing it looks like it might get real crazy so I think I just spotted my life bar for the first time I don't know how I missed it before but I think I just <laughs> I think I just spotted it So, that thing definitely doesn't die, so that's interesting. That's very interesting, I'm getting hit. And that isn't my life bar, what I thought was my life bar isn't my life bar, so... I don't really know... I don't really know how much life I have left. I mean, 
do we ever? Do we ever? <laughs> but, um... Oh. I'm trying to see how far I can make it, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get to a different background to see how crazy the graphics get. I like the way the character is animated to, to swing around and stuff. That is cool. Um, I'm unclear. Okay. I was going to say, like, what do I do at that point? But it looks like I'm, I'm killing gears here. Ah. Yeah. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna end it here. Um, not for me. Not my type of game. Um. It looks like they probably had something going where, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of backstory to it. And I wouldn't be surprised if the backstory generates a really cool... I mean, yeah, look at this. Like, <laughs> like with a buddy, you could go crazy. You could go ham on it. I wouldn't be surprised if the backstory generated like a really big cult following. But the fact that I've never heard of this game tells me that um, 1989, okay. Um, so it's not too bad for 1989, but again, um, not for me. Um, and the fact that there aren't any sequels that I've ever heard of tells me that it just wasn't, just wasn't it. And um, they kind of just replaced a spaceship with a guy. Um, initially kind of weird. I'm hoping they can justify that in their stories, but who knows? I won't because I'm not finishing this.